your mother never realized who she was. She was nice. She had kids, but she didn't protect you. She didn't build her leadership. She never realized why she was there, what she had to do. I think some women watching this show, they want to take back control of their life. They want to build a life of their dream. They want to build their leadership. Welcome to the Wilkie Show with Alan and Martine. It's time to have it all to take back control of your life, build your leadership. And today we're going to talk about four points about life and success. This is going to be really good. Stay with us. Alan, mm -hmm. what is really success? You know, we can have it all. We can build the life of our dream, take back control of our life. But we have to understand that success is different for everybody. Correct. It's not about money. It's not about a house. It's not about a boat. It's about a life style, yeah. right? You choose your lifestyle. And from there, uh, you build your life, what, what kind of family you want, marriage, where you want to live, the car you want. So mm. it's a whole, it's the whole five. You can have it all. Yes, you can have it all. And I, th I think it's, we are limited by our belief system. You know, we think a lot that we cannot have it all because of what we seen around us, the experience, our family. But if we believe really something, we can have it in our life. And we can really build the life of our dream. And you said something that is very important for us, the lifestyle. You mm -hmm. can have some stuff in your life or do a work or whatever, a business. But if you don't like your life, you don't like the lifestyle of your life, you're going to be really miserable. We know a lot of people that made a lot of money, but they're miserable. And they ended up doing, making money, yeah. concentrating on just money instead of concentrating on becoming who they're supposed to be. And then all the money, the relationships, the environment that's going to connect to that, to the real you, is going to be very different. Mm -hmm. the, the reason they're, why they're miserable is because they're in a life that does not belong to them. And they're very uncomfortable. And whatever they buy or do or connect, it's the wrong people. It's, it's the wrong things they're buying. It's... It's not them. Exactly. And a lot of people, they define success about the bank account, you know, mm -hmm. how much you make per year. But you really try to understand that it's more than that. Success is different for everybody. Four points that we have to consider that is important in life. It's the day you were born. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the day you came in this earth, on this earth. And the second point is to discover why you were born. Mm -hmm. And everybody is created to do something specific in mm -hmm. this life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, the, where we get uh, a little bit cloudy in our thoughts is the family you dropped in, mm -hmm. their DNA, their mindset, their lifestyle is not necessarily yours. All right. It could be yours. It could be a, a, a good family that's built a, a strong legacy. And then you come in into this whole uh, environment and it's strong. And it permits you to be in all this legacy, this environment, the company, the, the business, the, the, the family thing. You can find your place in that part. And that's the best way to do it. Now, yeah. we all realized at one point that there's a lot of girls out there that ended up in families, abused this, that. And then they built their lives on those events. According to this story that Co happened in their life. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now, you said you're born into a family, to a DNA, and then you have to learn and realize what were you born for to achieve. Yeah, this is the most important point. Why you came here, why you were born to do, you know, to fulfill. And this is very precious because I believe that we don't necessarily choose, you know, we have to discover our Correct. assignment yeah, yeah. because we are created with some gifts, skills, ability that other people, they don't necessarily have. And all this ability and skill and gifts is there to be used for the this fulfillment of the assignment. Mm -hmm. You know, look at this. Well, everything that is created is to fix a problem. Mm -hmm. And I believe then when we, the day we were born, we were sent to fix something, to fix a problem, uh, to fulfill herself and this is really success for me i remember when we decided to have a family it was not like oh i'm gonna leave i'm gonna quit my assignment why i'm created to do to have kids it's like no this boat is me <laughs> to have a family to have a happy marriage to have the life of my dream and fulfill myself to do my assignment because very young and often the people they're very young they have the inspiration 
question why they you know they're created to do you know yeah you said something very young at the age of five i think yeah uh, five years old said to my grandma uh naturally we were in a french uh, place and my family was english and i was translating for her and i came out of there and i says i'm going to become a millionaire and i'm five years old you knew that you're going to become an entrepreneur and make money and help people yeah yeah i didn't know how i was going to do it but you know i i the first thing you know i saw myself to that level as a five-year-old and my family was poor you got to put yourself back into the situation my grandma was on social welfare and my grandpa was a drunk <laughs> my mom had no power she she had lost her power so where did i get this idea this wasn't the social media like today mm-hmm. today there's, it's all over the place but at that time where i come from uh that was not there and there was nobody around me that told me you got this example i had no man no no woman nothing it was inside and you said something you know very important you come you came from a family that was poor yep. and you were suffering from that some summer you didn't have shoes on your feet to yep. just go and play with the other, with your the other friends kids, yep. then you suffer from that and get it again and very young you realize you were called to make money but to help people because the best way to help people is to be an entrepreneur make money and help people around you and mm-hmm. help the community help the church help your family help people that for you very young you realize this is my assignment i need to break this pattern in my family Correct. and i'm choosing to do it yeah you know and for me very young at around the same age than you i realized they were asking me what do you want to do when you're going to be you know older and i said um What is the job to help people? I don't like to see people suffering. I don't like to see people stuck at the same place and frustrated. And I want to help people to just bring them higher and to fulfill themselves. And they said to me, you can become social worker, psychologist. And this is exactly, I went to school, I became social worker. And after that, I studied in psychology and I help people. And tw- 30 years later, what I'm doing, I help people, you know, to fulfill their goal, to fulfill their dream. I help women to not be stuck at the paradigm of their life, their generation, the culture, and to fulfill their life. But I believe this is the second point. The first point, you, the day you were born it was very important. Something happened in this world. And secondly, the day you discover why you were born, this assignment. I think this is part of, of the real success. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Another thing, my <clears throat> my mom, you know, saw that her greatest regret, uh, I was in a very violent family. At the beginning, I didn't start on a good foot like silver spoon in my mouth i was poor you know as you said i spent there was this joker that that threw my my sneakers in in the river and i had i i spent the whole summer barefoot on gravel and up in the country Mm -hmm. uh to go and be insulted and and be in shame all that summer and suffering because i was walking on rock but my mom as a woman she's she was and so nice inside she was very soft but she did not take her power back and her greatest regret with me was she didn't defend me she didn't get me out of there she could have become a good leader even in the household she could have said okay i'm going to use my leadership as a woman i'm going to tell him if you beat my son again i will i will i will make you right re- i'll get you arrested i'm i'm going to do something you will not do this again to my she should have protected me she as a leader in the family her leadership to protect her, her children but she didn't and that was her greatest regret i'm the one who paid her rent for years before she died i, I took care of her until the moment she died but you see she had given her power to events, situations, and, and she lost her life. She was victim not taking back control of her life Correct. and building her leadership. Correct. And you suffer because of that, because she stayed victim waiting that her husband will change or do something and she didn't do anything. Correct. And she regret that. And yeah. this is this is what we have to realize. We were born to do something here and we are called to change people's life, our life, the, the story of our family. And this This is part of the assignment in succeeding your life. Mm -hmm. You know, with my grandma, 
I, I believe really that I'm an answer of her prayer yep. because she was, my grandfather was very violent. She was very abused drunk. by him. He was drunk. He was alcoholic, drunk all the time, almost. Um, not Most of the time, not really working. She mm. has really to find a way to feed her children. And, and she was under this kind of pressure all the time with him and violence and all this atmosphere. And she stayed there all her her life and she just survived and I think she wished that somebody's going to come and help her and nobody came to her to help mm -hmm, her. Mm -hmm. She has to send she had to send her kids during the night to protect them from their father her husband to not hit them and she, they have to take the taxi the cabs during the night to go to their aunt to be protected the time that he was beating her and doing all that and uh -huh. by coincidence I started my my profession with abused woman yep. and I build a resource for that without knowing the story of my grandmother. See, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. nothing is by coincidence. I don't believe in coincidence. And when we are created, we are called to fix something. And sometimes is the answer of the bloodline, the generation before then they hope that something will change, but we are called to bring change. And it's not easy, but it's, it's a way that we can really feel inside of us that we fulfill the purpose, the reason of our existence. Everything is cyclical and it comes first of all in a DNA of our family, two, three, four generations down. Uh, when people work on things, it starts to go down. But our generation now, more than ever, uh, do not understand the cycles. Everything is cyclical. Yeah. Life is cyclical, uh, night, day, whatever, the, the wars, the events, everything is cyclical. So if you've got a cycle, uh, like you, you had that cycle of your grandma, went down to your mother, and when I met you, uh, your reputation was uh, whatever you did, you were always second. That happened in your in family. In my family. Mm -hmm. Right. In my so family. So that was that cycle, that pattern that was created from generation to generation. It was not as bad when it got to you three generations down because you you went out there you said okay i i want I, i'm gonna take my power back but still there was stuff in your life stealing your 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 position what you were doing it always went to some somehow yeah. to somebody else right this is the pattern the paradigm of the family then my grandfather of my mom's side that yeah. was alcoholic and yeah. violent didn't want to see me when i was born mm -hmm. i was and he didn't want to he just want to see my brother you know and giving important importance to my brother instead of me i was not conscious of that i was a baby and he died i was very young i don't remember him mm -hmm. but this pattern you know this kind of pressure spiritual pressure and pattern want to keep in my life keep going in my life when i i left the family and i went in you know working with abused women and working only with women i didn't have at all this problem because i was not under the same kind of environment environment exactly but when we're placing back in the family with the environment and the mindset of woman man purity whatever mm -hmm. and religiously and culturally no. i i was feeling back this kind of yeah. you know pressure and situation but this is why i realized okay something is is wrong there and we have to realize that because if you're in the wrong environment you can die mm -hmm. you know the all the years i work with abused women and still today uh what is happening if you stay too long in an environment then you're not received you're just tolerated you're not celebrated you're gonna start to believe that and you're gonna you can destroy completely your life and the reason of your life you have to 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 realize to do not stay in this environment and go back with the environment that receive you celebrate who you are and you can grow in your assignment Correct. and your potential the other night we were listening to a film there and this guy you know had been in, in the army top of, the, of, of his ranking then 
accident comes, he, he breaks his back, gets, got, comes out, and be, then becomes a lawyer, and is miserable. He's really... He, they, everybody said, go, you know, live this family life. He loved his family, but he, he hated his lifestyle. That was not him. And all of a sudden, in this film, he gets a call from his old buddy, I got a mission for you, whatever, uh, and sends him in. And all of a sudden, he, for him, it was like he, he had no choice. He needed the money. But once he got into the jungle... He went back. He went back to, to the who right he was. environment. All yeah. of a sudden, he reactivated yep. who he really was. And then everything came back. And then it was easy. Then all of a sudden, he was getting results. And then he came back and as a hero. But what the, the, the story is, there's a lot of women out there. I'm going to get married. I'm going to put everything aside. I'm going to take care of the kids and come back to my career one day. They're miserable. They could have done both at the same yeah. time. <sighs> and choose their lifestyle and do their careers, bring their leadership uh, in their family uh, and be successful, become them. Do you know from this story, <laughs> I, have, I want to bring back two, three points here, but from this story, so important to realize, see, maybe he was making more money to be an attorney, yeah. but he was miserable. Yeah. Success is not defined by only money. Money no. is good. Money is an instrument for change. It's good to have money. I prefer to have money than no money. But you have to be in the right place and make the money yeah. you need. This is very, very important. And a lot of people, they base their life and their decision about only money or but after life is very short mm -hmm. but can be very long if you're in the, the wrong place you yeah, know yeah. and when he tapped he went back to the right environment he came back to life but a lot of women they they don't have really life inside they feel empty because they never discovered their assignment mm -hmm. the reason why they were born you know we're you want kids fine you want to be a father a mother fine but this is not defining your assignment you know and I think a lot because of the mindset from the culture and generation, a lot of women, they have difficulties to define, to find out their assignment because that was, that was not encouraged before mm -hmm. for the woman. And still today, yeah. I think we have work to do because if I want to build the leadership of my life and take back control of my life, I need to realize why I'm called, what I'm called to do, mm -hmm. why I was born. Mm -hmm. You know, and when you discover that, like this guy came back, he came back to life because it's the life is not vain anymore. It's mm -hmm. not just only going to work, coming back home, going to work, coming back home. You it fulfill yourself. Exactly. It has a purpose. Yeah. You, you know where you're doing it. You know what you're good at. And finally, you find yourself because you lost yourself along mm -hmm. the way. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the, it is it is very important. It's funny because today, more than ever, you see. At, I think it's the time of women to, to become, you know, the leaders. The leaders are supposed to be all over in all kinds of walks of life, from up to to, 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 to the mom to whatever. Uh, women are making six, seven figures that come back to who they are. And it's funny because we're seeing with the social media a lot of resistance against that. It's starting to happen, which which we did not see before. So that's a big sign for me that it's time for, that women are making a wave, but it is time for them to really take back their power and their leadership yeah. and do a better job at home, be a better wife, be a better mom, be better in business and management, whatever you're doing, you'll be better because you'll reactivate who you're supposed to be. Yeah. And to take back control of your life, we have to yeah. realize you're not going to please everybody. You cannot no, please everybody. That's... And you have to stop to do that now now yeah. because you're going to be the one miserable and if you try to please everybody and what is going to be their opinion about you you're never going to succeed over that mm -hmm. always somebody's going to have something bad or something to say about you mm -hmm. you know the kind of shoes you wear that whatever <laughs> then this is the the point the part that you say this is my life and nobody will create the life of my dream you can have it all but you are responsible to create this life that you want no matter what is the opinion of your family or people around you or the society you have to build this life and a lot of because you were talking about pattern right and we're going to come back to, to that very in more specific details but because of this society this culture unfortunately what a lot of women they had we were talking about the difficulty to find their assignment but they had 
this kind, they receive the education, they receive the system, the belief system that they're created to support the assignment of their spouse, to support the vision of their spouse instead of I am created with him or without him, I have a purpose in my life and I need to find out this purpose and build my life with this purpose. Everybody's talking and it's impossible to have a balanced life or we want a balanced life. What is a balanced life? A balanced life is discovering and working on your lifestyle, what you want to create, because we're all creators. God created us creators, right? And uh, what we can do is change and create whatever we want to. So that means if I walk into the realm, okay, how can I be balanced or not balanced or it's impossible? You see, the thing is, is people, they'll go into a, a career full blast and they put everything aside. And for a while, it could be okay. But when you're talking about building relationships, uh, building a life, if you're building around the wrong people, you will be miserable because now you're unbalanced because it's not who you are. Like this guy, He comes out of the army, becomes a lawyer. I mean, he's miserable in that type of life. But he had a balanced life, going to the oh, office, yeah, nine to five, right. coming back Very home. Very balanced. Not a happy he, life. <laughs> he loved his family. He loved his wife. And it, and it, he, he was fighting a lot, a lot with his wife. Why? Because... He wasn't happy. He wasn't happy. And she was not happy because he was, he was not, not him. And the children, uh, you know, they look at this. So the best way to do things in life is to do your purpose and create your lifestyle around that purpose or else, I mean, like a lot of people, you'll go to the grave and you'll look back and have these regrets. How many women today, even they're not dead, but they look at their lives, they're dead and they look back and all, these, never, all these regrets. They never feel satisfied it's empty. because I really believe that you feel satisfied in your life. It's not perfect, but you feel satisfied when you fulfill yourself. This is the reason why you're here and this is make really big part of the success mm. you know your mother never realized who she was she was nice she was a nice woman your mother she she was you know she had kids she had kids nice mother but she didn't protect you she didn't she didn't build her leadership she never realized why she was there what she had to do she just survived mm -hmm. going to work and after that because she was sick she stopped to work and Just day after day, just surviving. 58 years old, she died. She died. 58 years old and suffering for at least 10 years. And her life, she's looking back. I mean, 58. I prefer to try and fail and try again and build back better than not trying because Correct. you're afraid to fail. Stop to be afraid to fail. Failing is part of success. Yep. This is, you That's learn. How you That's how you grow. This is how you grow. And a lot of women here, they're watching the show, they want to be perfect they want perfection Pe perfection is not part of this life you need to try you need to fail you need to learn and you do it better and you build back better but this is not going to discredit you if you fail and you learn and you try this is part of life you know what it's a perfect life it's just being you and building on you and building what you want to build and going through the process trial and error get good mentorship that's why we have events free events and those who want to know about our free brands can literally go down there and leave a comment we'll send you because there's free events that we put uh, martin and i and martin's uh, teaches women how to discover themselves to, to gain back their power and to bring them to another level she's been doing that since since she's been in school she went to university she studied for that and she's been doing that and she's 48 now still doing it and she's very good at it so if you want to know about our free events uh, there's women out there who want to reactivate their, their, their power Power, their life exactly. reactivate really who you are well just leave a mm -hmm. comment out there yeah, exactly you know this is important i believe in this generation we have a battle there and i think some women watching this show they want to take back control of their life yep. they want to build a life of their dream they want to build their leader leadership because leadership started with our own life yeah yeah you know what i want to yeah. build in my life my health my marriage my family my finances my purpose and this is part of women are not weak no women are strong 
differently than men, maybe. We receive different, you know, uh, story in our life, experiences, but and maybe some words. And I think because of the mindset of the family, mindset of the culture, mindset through religion, whatever, this is the part that we feel that the women are weak and they're not. They're strong. They're, they're capable to build their life and to fulfill their dream. It's, it's nice for me. I find the perfect partner that has no problem at all to support me in my dream in the reason of my life and to believe in me and I think it's you know in this generation we need more secure men that they are they are okay and happy to see their wife fulfilling their life and be satisfied and happy a better me is a better us right mm -hmm. and to come back in their marriage a better you it's a better us too that we are more happy happier together we can build better together it's it's important but women are not weak this is what we sold in them then to keep them like a princess lower their, their their potential and they try to do some stuff in the social media and not discovering really the value um what they deserve the potential they had to just impact this generation in the right way Whatever a woman or a man, what makes you weak is not being who you are. Because when you discover who you are, you got power, man or woman. So a lot of women out there were just come into family. It's it's cultural. It's 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 the DNA of the of the woman like your grandma. You know to survive. To she use, was strong to survive. Correct, correct. Mm -hmm. But she was considered weak. But when he was drunk, she had to find strategies and concepts, use her leadership to survive instead of using her leadership. To build. To build. But no, it was just to survive. So that's what put her weak because exactly. she was in survival but mode. But she was not weak. But this she is what she weak. received Correct. from the belief system. And she married into that too. And she was dependent of her husband, then waiting after him, then maybe one day he will take control in the leadership. And yeah. he was not. Yeah. And she suffered, all the family suffered, like you suffer yeah. and your family suffered. And a lot of women, they die with the regret, they didn't take their leadership. In. Well, a lot of women, a lot. So a lot. that's why today you can take that decision and say, okay, I'm going to take my power back. What's that? Is to taking back the real you and activate that woman not the one of generations. I mean, I'm in this, I know there's good stuff, but the real you. And that real you will, will bring you to another level. That's how we build. That's in our conferences and, the, and what we do in coaching in our groups and our masterminds, our masterclass. That's what we do. We build that framework that's going to take them and we pull out of them the real them. We activate it. The, the majority of women, when we, we ask them, and it's part of the statistic, is when we say you can have it all, and we say, okay, what do you want? Mm -hmm. The majority will say, well, I don't really I know don't, what I want. Know. I yeah. know what my spouse wants, my kids or whatever, people around me. But me, I don't really know what I want. And this is the first step. This is the first step we work in our summit with our clients, with people. Clarity will bring change if you have no clarity no clear vision how you're gonna get it you know mm -hmm. how you're gonna know you reach a destination if you don't know where you're going is the first part and secondly you have to be sure that what you want is not according of what we sold in you you know mm, that's good yeah. according to the belief system of where yeah. you come from yeah. uh, some women they come from a family they had no problem wa working with their, their dad and moms in the business knowing how to make money build businesses easy like the brothers look you know some family we can see the kids brothers sisters all working in the business learn the business they're all good in the business yeah. they know how to manage money employee it's not about the gender it's what we sold in them and they learn it and they're good but some they come from family and it's just one example but it's just where do you you come from will affect your belief system of what you want you know and sometimes people they want something according to what they receive from their culture, their family, the education, and it's not necessarily what they want, right? There, there, there's women out there that you got to understand that uh, if you're brought up, you came, you were born into a family that has stuff coming up against that family, the mindset, the, the, it's in the DNA, the simple, uh, the five senses work and what you, the environment you were brought up, you're programmed uh, to that family. 
Now you start looking on the social media and says, okay, this is what I want. But you're far from there because the first thing, the first step, who are you and what do you want? And then probably when you find that out, maybe it's not that you want, it's the other thing. You have to redefine what you want according to who you really are. Or else you'd be miserable. And, you, <laughs> and, and you'll have uh, failures, over failures, over failures. You have to redefine what you want according to who you really are, your identity. Yeah. All, you come from a place that all, all women in your family had to have kids, three, four, five, six, seven kids and stay home. This is what we told you. This is what we repeated to you. And you grew up and you say, this is not necessarily what I want. And for sure, you're going to displease your family or people around because this is how they think. But you have to be a very honest with yourself and not create a fake life. And secondly, not create a life because you look at somebody else and you say, oh, I love the result of this life and I'm going to copy this person because I love the result because you, you want what, you know, they have but you don't you don't know what is the process for that mm -hmm. and you're not created for that you have to be aware that are you created to embrace to enjoy the journey the process to get this result mm -hmm. you know you love to be a singer you love the stage and the glamour glamour and all but do you want the life according to the to be a singer and to be on tour and to practice all the time with musician and to not be home most of the time and do you want that lifestyle that lifestyle and it's going to help you a lot to define is it really what i want mm -hmm. or i just want to have to have the result and you don't want to go through the process yeah because in the music business i've been brought was brought up into that so you could be at the office you could be a manager you could be part of the marketing team you could be a, a, a hundred of places in the music industry and be part of that but you're more stable it fits with who you are you can be it says i'm going to be in sales and you it's not in you exactly I, you can learn the skill right it's but it doesn't mean your life ain't going to be miserable it's not for everybody <laughs> to, it's, yeah you understand so where do you fit in all this that's where you'll perform better you got to reactivate this and this is when your skills and your stuff is going to be so natural you, you're, you're just like a fish into the water you become a genius yeah a lot of women they put themselves into an environment because that's what everybody's doing. And now they got the husband, they got the children and they got the lifestyle and they're like a fish you put on the beach. It just goes flops. The like wrong that. place. You put that fish put back, back in the in water, the water. Mm -hmm. and it becomes genius. a genius. Mm, exactly. A lot of women are in the wrong environment. Like the fish on the beach. And they lost their power. Yeah. It's, it's cyclical. You can die. Inside, you can die. Oh, a lot of them have died already. Mm -hmm. And you can reactivate and become alive again yeah. because it's generational. It's from grandma, aunt, whatever, mom. It's been there for generations. I believe the woman watching this show right now is not a coincidence. They're choosing to change the story of the bloodline and to accept who they are and build the life of their dream and to take back control of their life. And it's possible to have the right mentorship, the right environment, encouragement, community, to be in the right tribe because you said something important. The fish on the beach is in the wrong environment. You know, he has to go back to the right environment that he's going to breathe. Yeah. And Oxygen. Oxygen in the water, can you see? Yeah. For us to be in the water, this is another story. This is why you need to be the right place. And the last point in this point of why you were born is you have to be careful because some people, they're just talking about you have to do your passion. You have to do your passion, you know. Uh, I believe passion is part of your assignment. But we have to be careful that it's not all our passion will be our assignment because mm -hmm. it's not necessarily. But I believe that all your skill and ability and your dominate gift is part of your assignment mm -hmm. and you will be passionate of what you're doing because you fulfill yourself but some people they're very passionate to sing and they're not gifted you know it's you have to be aware this is not about all passion but where are you good and become very mm. passionate because where you were you're good is the gifted given to you to impact this generation
creation. It's not a mistake. It's not a coincidence. And you have to use it to impact. And then you will be very passionate. Uh, I'll just tell you a story. And I know you know that story that when I was young in my 20s, I was on tour a lot, opening up for, for big, bigger bands. And I would, you know, I had friends, musicians that I had took in, in music stores and say, you want to come on tour? You'll make two, three times what you're making as a salary. Come with me. And they would come after several months on tour. The first thing they were doing, they, they had dreamt, you know, this dream in their mind, their passion. I want to be on tour. I want to be an artist. Two months later, they're crying to go back home. I want to go back home. Can you replace me? So you see, they're musicians. And I took them, very good musicians, that I took them on tour. But once they got into that lifestyle, they failed miserably. They were miserable uh, in hotels. And every single night, there's a show. You have to go up there, give your best. You're tired. You're so now the glamour left. But I loved it. I loved that. But the, some of them went back home crying. Mm -hmm. Send me back. Replace me. So it's same thing. What you were uh, talking about is you got to be careful about the passion and who you really are. Because maybe that passion com the lifestyle. comes with maybe the DNA of generations. It's yeah. not really you. And then you start doing it. And then all of a sudden you realize you're very uncomfortable. Now, being uncomfortable could be good when you're in what you really are. Yes, exactly. Because you're pushing yourself higher. And to when you discover that this is part of our responsibility to discover our assignment, yeah. why we were born, what do we have to do? This is part. This is very important to realize that, not waiting that maybe someday it will just appear like that. You have to seek and you will find. Mm -hmm. And this is is very important in our life to to do it and you we have to realize that we are each of us responsible to create our, our happiness mm -hmm. the life of our dream what we want stop to wait after people you know other people to build that to bring your happiness to wait after external uh condition situation because if you don't refocus because life will take it to try to discourage you and distract you or put bad pressure or not necessarily be the you know disappointed because you don't have the support or but if you realize i am responsible to create the life i want i can have it all i will take back control of my life build my leadership i'm gonna be set free from the syndrome of the princess you know i call that Becoming the princess syndrome princess syndrome is waiting after the prince will come and deliver me from this life and give me the perfect life it's not gonna happen this way <laughs> You know, like, oh, the princess syndrome. Yeah. One day it will come in this white horse and give you the perfect life. And it can give, give you a good life and you're going to still be miserable because you don't know why you exist and you don't fulfill yourself. Then we have to become a queen <laughs> and yeah. say, I have a kingdom to build, like Queen Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. You know, she's an example that she was a woman taking a position of queen and she protected our kingdom. She increased her her kingdom and she was doing her position like a queen we have to be to let go the princess syndrome and take a position of a queen mm -hmm. you know single or in a marriage and relationship build my empire and be happy with what i build progress make us happy and then this is what we have to fight for a lot of queens out there that have been just sitting down and i think this video could wake them up and say I okay rise up and take the position says, okay i gotta get my leadership as a queen yeah. in a household in the kingdom got mm -hmm. kids I got this there's money going on there's there's careers there's there's a husband there's and become yeah. the best version yeah. of a queen can be in their environment and rediscover who they are because yeah. you you when you put in the wrong environment at one point you're going to lose who your essence you're going to lose your power you're going to you don't even know who you are anymore that's going to happen and that's happening to a lot of women today but i know that now is the time for women to to, to wake up to rise up yeah. and to take their place in this society and become who they're supposed to be yeah exactly and this is bringing us to the third point we're talking about paradigms yeah cycle pattern and guess what after the day you were born the most important thing secondly you discover why you were born mm -hmm. third part paradigm will try to keep you outside 
outside of your assignment, your destiny, what you have to do, try to keep you at the same level, same result, same pattern, same pattern in the family, same voices that try to discourage you, to tell you that it's not for you, you're not created for that, this is just your imagination, you dream too much, don't believe that, you don't deserve that. You know, this voices that try to discourage you like the family, the generation mm. before. How many women in your family really succeeded their assignment, their purpose? Question. Mm -hmm. How many women, they really take back control of their life and build their leadership? How many women in your family, in your bloodline, really rise up and change the story of their family? And I believe that most of us, we didn't have that. And we are chosen to destroy this paradigm that try to keep us like the woman in the generation before these voices that the epigenetic science now said that you have the voice the memory of generation in your blood that talk to you all the yeah, time yeah. we need to rise up and we need to realize okay i paradigm will never die by himself by itself i need to destroy this paradigm everything is cyclical so there's a lot of women out there they they're trying to do the the six figure seven figure and they're, they're kind of you know stuck there for years yep there's there's a couple things we talk about who you really are the right environment for you to thrive and to really succeed and there is a cycle like you just said mm -hmm. how many women have done this before mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. so if not you're the first of your family of your, your bloodline as a woman to go to that level you're facing challenges and that's when you got to understand what are all these details are important because when now you're creating something new you're going to create a new downline in your children and even your your little girl coming up you're building a new downline anybody who's been in yeah. network marketing knows that you have to change you you got to work on yourself to create a good downline so now that's happening then you walk into another realm where women before you never walked in in yeah so this is totally new without mentorship yeah you're gonna have a hard time two or three years down the line because now you've got to change your dna change your all your all belief your system because and even you could be in the wrong business five degree sometimes just decide and, and all of a sudden everything starts breaking you know the pattern of generation the pattern in your life some people it's easier for them to succeed because in their family they succeeded yeah in their assignment the will is already there it's easier yeah some people say man i work hard i try i'm doing everything they tell me to do we i'm pushing and i'm stuck all the time the same place at the point you want to just give up you know give up your dream give up and this is why we're here <laughs> to show you how mm. you can destroy this resistance this paradigm and this is why we are free event you have to click on the link below because you can really join us and we're going to show you the steps how to destroy this paradigm how to destroy the inside and outside resistance that try to come against your success and what you really want to build but you know the law of polarity we have to understand this law it's like the law of gravity when you take a decision to go and get something that you really want in life to conquer in your life you have you're gonna have like the reaction coming back against you that try to discourage you of your decision the the, the what the fact that you decide no this is really what i want this is what i'm created for and this is really want to build and you're going to see a lot of resistance going to come back against you to try to discourage you mm -hmm. this is called the love polarity mm -hmm. you know and you have have to be aware of that because if you're not aware of this law like the love gravity you're going to perish by lack of knowledge it's going to just overcome you it's going to destroy you and you're going to be stuck at the same place again and you're not going to leave a difference for the descendants you know we see in, in network marketing a lot of women are there they they're facing all kinds of resistance in their mm -hmm. environment their their spouse uh, the people they knew you know it, it, you have to really work on yourself and to bring yourself to activate who you really are because there is voices. You take a decision, somebody's going to knock on your door and mm -hmm. try to discourage you. Yeah. I mean, the voice in your mind and exterior too, believe me, because now you're disrupting in the spiritual realm stuff. Mm -hmm. Everything is moving. You, yeah. you you become somebody else and everything starts to disrupt and start actually you're confronting everything you you were before. Your environment, your, your way of thinking, dressing, and all of a sudden you're not the same person no more. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Then people start noticing. That's when that polarity will s- try to stop you. But it's a cycle. It's it the same resistance, the same pattern than the family. And if you're not aware of this season and yeah. pattern, you will be stuck all the time in the same place. And you can just give up and quit because you don't recognize this pattern. And you can overcome this pattern. Mm-hmm. You can overcome this paradigm. You can destroy this paradigm. This voices, this memory, this kind of situation that tried to be repeated by themselves, you have power over that is by decision 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 and to build your leadership to destroy this pattern in your life and sometimes if you don't want to do it for yourself do it for your kids because if you don't fix this problem your kids will face the same thing oh yeah it'll it'll continue the cycle never stops till it's changed you got to change the cycle you got to bring a new cycle to see the old one not be knocked down Mm -hmm. Uh, because it's going to take some work You, you need help you need mentorship you need the right keys need the right tools and once that starts getting out of your life then all of a sudden you start seeing the real you Mm-hmm. You can't change without a decision. So I come back to what you said. Once you took that decision, then there's stuff you got to get out. The environment is probably going to have to change things in your environment, the people around you, the words, the, the way you dress, the way you think, uh, your lifestyle, the way you eat, the way you go to the gym. Everything starts changing. Mm-hmm. And then you start discovering who you are until you make those moves, till you take that decision like you were saying. How many people in your family that really discover who they were and really fulfill what they were? call to do then you have some voices and yet if you don't recognize these voices that did you know have done what they have done with their family and try to do the same thing with you if you don't take control over these voices then they're going to dominate you and everything you tolerate will dominate you the day you stop to tolerate something you change will start and you will start to dominate this is the point you have to talk back to these voices Mm -hmm. you have to rebuke Rebuke these voices. You have to speak truth over yourself, not what these voices try to convince you because they succeeded maybe in the generation before. You need to destroy these voices and you need to talk back, not just do nothing and believe this is your own voice. It's really the same influence that destroy maybe your all the women in your bloodline mm. and try to keep them at the same place. I needed to do that in my own life because my grandmother, she believed these voices. When she was at the point to just react for surviving to protect her kids, she was reacting, but she never conquered these voices after to take to realize, hey, if I was able to do that, I can do more. And I can take the same drive, the same power that I reacted in this situation to protect my kids and take some, find some strategy and concept financially and all of that to protect my kids. I can use the same gift to build a future for my kids and mm-hmm. not just surviving, but she listened to these voices. It is too easy to stay who you are, just let it turn and be a victim. You got to come out of the princess syndrome and walk into the queen. The queen uh, is going to take control of her leadership and she's going to find solutions. She needs to find strategies, concepts, and always be in front of all situations that they be able to discern what's going on. Mm. And that's when you need mentorship. You can't do it on your own. Yeah. A lot of women out there, they're, they're struggling, they're hustling, and, and the mentorship will make a difference because you need the right keys. You need the right environment. You need the right people, the right community. That's how you get out. I mean, I mean, I was brought up in the farm. Sorry, I was brought up on a farm, and the farm is just an environment. It smells. I mean, you get you go you the same, there, you every like the single lifestyle. day. Those cows, <laughs> you know, the people around, the old farmers, they think the same way, and so on. With tractors, and and I became a musician. But you see, I I discovered <laughs> who I was. I escaped from hell. <laughs> The country. <laughs> like the I, don't, I don't want to go. It was not for you like no the more. fish, like the fish on the beach. For the other people, dying. it's a perfect place. So there's a lot of women out there. You know, they they're in environment. They were brought up in that environment. They lost who they were. What was their purpose? And now they're in the princess syndrome. Get out of there. Be queen. Walk into your destiny. A paradigm is is hold on a belief system. Yeah. If we don't change that, the paradigm, same pattern will continue. Yeah. What gave us power is to recognize the pattern. Mm. 
when you recognize a pattern, it gives you clarity and power to fix it because you cannot conquer what you don't confront and you cannot confront what you don't identify. If you don't identify the pattern, then you're not going to confront this pattern and you're not going to conquer it. Then this is my fourth point for today, Alan. The last one. You, after you realize, okay, the biggest thing is the day you were born. The second thing is the day you discover why you were born. The third thing is you discover the pattern mm. and the paradigm that try to destroy why you were born. Mm. Mm-hmm. The fourth one, you have to rise up, take the decision to change the story of your life, but your descendants, your family, your child, your child, your children, you know, and to build this kingdom, to take back position. This is the fourth part, to leave a legacy. When we talk about building a leadership, a real leader, think about the second and the third step after that, you know, mm-hmm. to be an example, to be a model, to change something, to change the story of your bloodline. Legacy is more than money. It's to leave something to the children that they can build be in it. and build better and be built higher and give this to their to the next generation. Mm-hmm. You see, that's what it is, is to give to the next generation. Yeah. As a queen, you got to think two, three generations down. You got to say, okay, what I'm doing now, I'm taking back my leadership and I'm looking more than money. I'm looking at two or three generations down, the legacy. If I build something strong, I'm going to give it to my children and they're going to leave it to their children and they're going to just going to pass it down. You can't do that with money. They, We saw that a lot of times. Uh, kids go out and and while with the money, they just blow their minds and they, 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 they in the addiction and partying, they lose everything. Mm-hmm. They lose themselves. Mm-hmm. But building a legacy is more than money. See, the time you were talking, I was thinking about one of my clients that we were talking last week. Uh, she's a woman, a strong woman. She has her own businesses and she has resistance from her, her spouse because she's very busy with the businesses. She loves what she is doing. And she said to me, and we're talking about pattern and legacy. Yeah. And to finish my point is she realized, wow, and she said, I never realized in my family, all strong women, they finish by themselves alone they were not able to stay with their spouse they because they were strong women they have to and she said in my culture it's very it's a pattern that we can recognize if you're a strong woman almost they all finish by themselves you know and the family divided and this is not really what they wanted but this is what is happening and she said or you decide to just okay I'm not gonna be a strong woman I'm gonna just let it go and submit and just accept the other side the other way then if I want to stay married or in relationship I have to leave this leadership this kind of strong woman and we talk about it and we clarify again listen do you want to repeat again and again and again the same thing in your family do you want to accept this belief system it's one or the other or we can change this pattern Mm -hmm. and be wise and destroy this paradigm that try to repeat in your life like your mother and all the family and your culture and we can use strategy for that you can keep your marriage you can stay strong you can have a happy marriage let's let's make let's put strategy here and what you're going to build look at your daughter she has a daughter she has four or four five years old and i said do you want her to live the same thing than you you saw in her you're sowing in her to be a strong woman but if you don't fix this problem she's going to be a strong woman with the same pattern than the family and the culture do you want that she said no I want it all I say fine let's put strategy and a week later she she has already started to see results mm-hmm. see if you want fast results well you got to get enter into that realm being mm-hmm. a queen taking control there, there's so many women out there making a lot a lot of money today you see uh, the, I can't remember her name the one that's on top of spank mm-hmm. and there's she's got she's married she's got kids they got families and and yes you got issues because you're out there you're using your leadership but can you be still be married and have kids happy and leave a legacy mm. absolutely you see it's just a question as you were spe- speaking uh, just a while back of a decision to becoming who you're supposed to be and becoming that queen and build your leadership to another level then this is the last part yep. you're choosing to build a new story yep. change the paradigm because if we believe some little 
lie, little lie. But we can build a strong paradigm on some little lie and mm. be stuck there. And this is not the way we want our life. That we were blessed to be with you today. And uh, I learned we have free event every month. Absolutely. So they can click on the link down there or just leave a comment and we'll give them the info. It's free. Yes. I mean, wow. Yes. We've got three three days, live events free, and uh, women are very blessed through it. We've got mastermind, we've got master classes, we got one on one, but mostly, you know, women want to get together in these times and build their leadership, and we've got a beautiful community. Yes, absolutely. Then leave your comments below. We want to know do you know your assignment? If you don't know, did you try to find it? Uh, if you know your assignment, do you have some paradigm that try to keep you stuck at the same place? We want to know, ask us question. We're going to be pleased to answer your question, Alan. We love that. This is what we want to do. Help you. We're helper. Then until the next show, be blessed and see you in the next show. Bye-bye.